are just tuning in right now, welcome to Hanging with Mrs. Hayward. We are about to do a math activity with 10 frames. So here's a 10 frame. So I'm going to do a quick explanation um, for those who haven't seen a 10 frame before. So the 10 frame has 10 boxes. So what you notice is there are five on the top row and then there are five on the bottom row. So typically we use a 10 frame the same way we read a book. So we start on the on the right and we go right to left the same way that we read a book. So um yes. I'm looking at it backwards so I didn't want to confuse myself. <laughs> um so 10 frames have 5 across the top. Let's just check that. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. And they have five across the bottom because we can see with our eyes that they're all the same. So let's count and see how many boxes there are all together on this frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's why it's called a ten frame because there are ten boxes. So a great activity that you can do with your 10 frame is you can uh, construct, compose, and decompose numbers. So make numbers and take away from numbers. So 10 frames are great for learning addition and subtraction. The way you can use these 10 frames as your child gets older and more comfortable, so once they're super comfortable with making and breaking the number 10, you can use this for older grades and you, or for older children, and you can use multiple 10 frames. So you can have two 10 frames making a total of 20. You could have three 10 frames making a total of 30. You could have four 10 frames making a total of 50. So you can do much larger numbers using multiple 10 frames. Going earlier to uh, making and breaking numbers, before they're ready for that, you can use your 10 frame for number representation. So we can just simply show the amount in the box and, and figure out how many there are in the box. And that's a great, great activity um, to get started for kids. So that's how we're going to start today. So I am going to put a number, and I'm going to say... And I want you to pop down in the comments what number I am representing. How many dots do I have in my 10 frame? Pop it down in the comments when you know. Pop it down in the comments. How many numbers am I representing? You can count them. One. Or you can use your eyes and just see. So we call that subitizing. So if you can quickly look with your eyes and see what the number is, that's subitizing. If you count with your fingers, that's one-to-one -one correspondence. So those are both expectations on the Ontario curriculum. So they are both great skills for our children to learn. Clara counted four. Charlotte says four. Ella says four. Liam says four, Zied says four, and Francisco says four. You are correct. Okay, so now what I want you to think about is this is four. So how many more do we need to make 10? Tell me that. We need four plus how many more to make 10? So uh, let me get my fancy whiteboard marker. Getting my fancy whiteboard marker, and I'm going to say four plus how many is equal to 10. So it's right there. Four, because we know that this board has 10 on it. So four plus how many? And you can count with your eyes one two, three, four, five, six. 
So the answer up here should be six. Four plus six is 10. And you got it. Charlotte got it. Um, Damien got it. Kian got it. Francisco got it. And Liam got it. Great job. Let's check and see if they're right. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So now we know that, hi Charlotte, now we know that four plus six equals 10. So we have made 10. Four plus six is equal to 10. So we write that in there. That was our magic missing number, the six. Four plus six is equal to 10. That is excellent, boys and girls. Good job, Ella. Good job, Clara. Excellent. Great. Are you ready for another one? Send me some likes and loves if you're ready for another one. All right. Let's see. How, can I make this hard? Can I make this tricky or easy? Should I make this tricky or easy? Okay. So we're starting with some representation. How many are on this 10 frame? How many are on the 10 frame? Pop the answer down below. Remember, you can count with your fingers, one. Or you can use your eyes to subitize, so you can tell quickly. Those are two different strategies, and they're both okay. So one-to-one -one correspondence, that's pointing and counting or using your eyes and just knowing. Because remember, we know how many is across here. So if we remember how many is across here, we should know this answer pretty quick and easy. Kian's got it. Francisco's got it. Perfect, you are correct. Damien's got it, Liam's got it, Clara's got it. Excellent, good job. So now we know, Here's the question I want you to do. I want you to tell me how many more do we need to make 10? So we already have five. How many more do we need to make 10? Pop that answer down in the comments while I write the question out. So it's gonna look like this. Five plus what equals 10? So it's gonna look like that. Five plus what equals 10? How many more do we need down here? Good job, Ella. Good job, good job, Francisco. Good job, Charlotte. Excellent. Great job. I'm gonna write that answer down in there. And then I wanna tell you something. So I wanna talk a little bit about this sign right here. This sign is called the equal sign. So this sign means that everything on this side is the same as everything on this side. So that's what that means. That means that five plus five are equal to 10. So five plus five are 10, and this is 10. So when you have an equal sign, you're saying everything over here is equal to the same as everything over here. And it's just, it's just written in a different way, but it's the same. It's like if you were on a scale and you put five coins on one side and five coins on the other, uh, five coins and five coins, and then over here you put 10 coins, it would be the same. If you put five coins down and then you added five more, and then you added 10 coins all together over here, it would be the same, 10 both ways. So there's two ways to get to 10. There's more than two ways to get to 10 though, boys and girls. So let's finish this and we'll try a new way. So there you go. Let's check and see if we're right. Clara got it, Chelsea got it, Damien got it, Charlotte got it, and Liam got it. So it is five 
and six. So I put the big number in my head here. This is my counting on strategy. I said five in my head, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I know that there are ten all together. But I can also see that there are five on the top and there are five on the bottom. I can see that with my eyes. So quickly, I'm able to say five plus five equals 10. Good job. Excellent. Okay, who's ready for another one? Send me some likes and loves if you want another one. All right, let me see how hard I can make this one. Let's see if I can make a tricky one. Tricky. Okay, getting excited. This one might be tricky. All right. So this one, how many are on my board now? What is my number? What am I, how many dots am I representing? You can use two strategies. You can count with your fingers, one-on-one -on -one correspondence, or you can use your eyes to know. Or you can think in your head, hmm, I know this is five and I know this is three. So you could add five plus three together to find out how many is there all together. Pop it down below if you know how many are there all together. How many are there all together? Try again, Kian. Good guess, but not quite. So close. So super close. Yes, Gia's got it. Chris, uh, Damien's got it. Kian, you've got it now. Excellent. Oh, Charlotte, you're so fast. You're right. You're already jumping ahead, Charlotte. You are so right. Uh, Kian's got it. Calera got it. And Zia got it. And it's okay if you count it too. That's a great strategy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is eight. The next question is going to be, how many more do I need to make 10? How many more do I need to make 10? You should be able to see with your eyes and say how many more I need. But let me write the question down. So that's going to look like this. Eight plus hmm equals 10. That's how it's going to look. Excellent job, Francisco. Good, uh, good, Chelsea. So we have eight now. How many more do we need to make 10? So eight plus what is equal or the same as 10? Eight plus what is equal or the same as 10? Hmm, that's a tricky one. Good job, Ella. Great. Good job. Excellent, Kian. Excellent. Excellent, Clara. Gia. Charlotte. Francisco. Excellent. So good. So, so, so good. It is. It is. The answer is. Good job, good job, Damien and Chelsea. The answer is two, let's check. One, two, you're right. So it was eight plus two. So I thought, I knew that there was five across here, so I did five plus three to find out that that was eight, and then I added two more to find out that it was 10. Lots of people get to um, find numbers and see numbers different ways, and that's okay. You can look and see whatever patterns you see in numbers and whatever helps you make, uh, makes you understand is okay. We don't all see our numbers the same way. As long as you get to the right answer and you can explain how you did that, then that's awesome. That's amazing. Because we all see different patterns in numbers. And there are so many amazing patterns and numbers. And once you see the patterns, you'll learn how much fun and how easy math can be. 
Okay, boys and girls, that is our time for today. Good job, Liam. Excellent. That is our time for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to Hanging with Mrs. Hayward. Parents, I'm going to ask you if you can do me a huge favor and share this on your pages so that we can get this out to more parents. Also, if you haven't already, please head over to Hanging with Mrs. Hayward on YouTube and subscribe and ring the bell so that you don't miss anything because good things, big things are coming over there. Little ones, if you want to do, show me if you want to keep the learning going and you want to do some work later on today and send me a picture of your awesome work, I would love, love, love to put it up. Thank you so much for working so hard today. You've done some amazing work and I am super proud of you. Mrs. Hayward has to go now and finish her coffee. Goodbye.